Turn to your neighbor and say, TJ about to say a bunch of racist shit. Because I am. <laughs> Come on, I am. Come on, I give a fuck. But, you know, they, there have been a few people trying to challenge me on this position that I've had that LSU didn't, you know, they didn't lift a finger to develop Jay Daniels. They didn't do shit, right? The, the LSU is the welfare recipient of a Heisman Trophy, right? They didn't do a motherfucking thing for that Heisman Trophy. We got that from another school already packaged. And we, and, and, and they said to me, said, TJ, why, did, why, did, why are you so upset about that? Why does that offend you so much? Why does it make you so angry? Because just like them, I don't like people who get shit and didn't do shit to earn it. I'm just old school like that. Just call me old school. I just, you know, I'm a, I hate, don't you hate on your job when somebody got the job because they fucked somebody? Or somebody got the job because their daddy was there 20 years and, you know, you had to fill out a whole fucking app, big old booklet application and you had to take a, 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 a test to get the damn job at Norfolk Southern and then the white boy just get the job because his pole worked there or at the refinery. His pole was there 25 years and a white boy don't even have to fill out an application. They don't even, they don't even piss him. He'd be full of heroin and crack and meth and baking soda. They don't even give a shit. Is this his daddy was there 25 years? Don't you hate that kind of shit? Right? And, it, you know, and white people always make it seem like we are the beneficiary of free shit when we never get free shit. We never get anything free. I have never gotten anything fucking free. Everything I've gotten, I have to pay for. Right? They get free shit. We don't. This is an example of it. They got free shit. And that's what pisses me off. Because Joe Burrow wasn't the best thing that happened to LSU. LSU did the best thing for Joe Burrow. What you talking about, DJ? What do you mean by that shit? Is that when we, we went to a school, listen to me, we went to a university, another school. We dug through their salvage bucket. We found a quarterback who was salvageable. And we brought that individual to LSU. But we didn't stop there. We made sure that he had everything in place to be successful. See, the brilliance of Ed Ogeron is that he knew we didn't know shit about offense. He didn't. He knew we didn't. We didn't have a clue how that shit worked. We knew when it came to offense, the ball had to be passed some kind of way. We knew there was some pitching involved in it. Not quite like baseball. Not quite like basketball, but we knew that somebody had to pitch it. We just didn't know who that individual was or how to get the ball to the person called a WR. So the guy called a QB some kind of way got it to the WR. We just couldn't figure out how. How in the fuck does that work? And here comes Ed O'Reilly and say, you know what? I'm not going to rag my brain trying to figure out how QB gets that ball over there five yards to WR. Let's just go steal a coach who already understands this complex shit. So we go over to the sinks, right? In the middle of the night, it's 3 a.m., I think. I got a text message that the shit was going down. We steal somebody from over there, right? Shimona said, operation in place. We done got us one. I said, we got one. I said, we got one. That's the one we needed. That's the one we need, TJ. We're going to win the national championship. She said the shit the day he got there. And I'm thinking, how the fuck does she know that? <laughs> how the fuck you know that, Shimona? She knew that because she had already been tracking this dude, Joe Brady, already. She already knew we had the best offensive line. She said, TJ, give me five at 305 and we could do it. Five at 305 and we could do it. All I need is five at 305. I said, okay, Shimon, you got five at 305. We did it. We did it. What do you mean, TJ? 
Joe Burrow sat down to a table in which the butter was already on the buns. The butter beans had butter on the butter beans. The pork and beans had pork in the fucking pork and beans. And all he had to do was sit there and put the, the, the fucking chicken had Tony Saturies already on the shit. All he had to do was put the fork in his mouth and chew. But that's not the case for the little black kid. You know, when they got that white boy. They just threw all of the black kids away. We had quarterbacks there with the same amount of talent, with the same amount of ability, with the same amount of agility. They were just the wrong skin color because LSU, we're sick of the black quarterback shit. See, they went through a phase where the black quarterback, because of the white coach, became unpopular. It was the white coach who decided to go to this read option bullshit. Right. It was the white coach that that latched on to this read option shit to get a quick, quick win. Fuck the destruction that it was doing to their bodies. Fuck the catastrophic injuries to their necks and their knees and all that. Fuck all of that. They were expendable. He had so much black talent that he didn't have to give a fuck that these single back offensive plays were destroying our kids. Was riddling them with injuries. You got fucking children that are 18 years old walking like they're Fred Sanford because of some evil ass white coach in these fucked up plays. Nobody said shit about shit. We just let them do it. Right. But now when we got the white boy, the white boy had zero expectations to run. There were no expectation of Joe Burrow to run. Could he run? Obviously he could. Was the expectation that he run? Fuck no. Why? We had five at 305. And we had the best five at 305 that we've ever seen in the history of the university or perhaps college football. Of all the fucking college football. And we won a national championship with it. Because LSU did everything for the white kid to make sure he was successful. Jaden Daniels, they say, here's a brown football your black ass better run. And you better run fucking fast. And if you don't run fast enough, you can get your ass back to Arizona State, a nigga state, wherever the fuck you came from. But your ass better run or die. That was their that was their options. You either win today or sashay away. That was your fucking options. You they didn't give us no options here. So when you see this young man. Do, do the impossible by winning a Heisman. Just remember this. LSU didn't lift a fucking finger to help him do it. He did that shit for mama. And I've always said, pay attention to the kid who's playing for mama. He don't have no fucking support. Ain't nobody rallying around him. The evil ass, racist ass white fans at LSU was looking for the next white hope that Fucking next white hope was a fucking garbage man. And they just had to suck it up and say, okay, let's try another one of these things called a nigger quarterback. And the shit worked out for them again, again, because I say again, because LSU wouldn't be shit without African-American football players. And that's the ones they give the least of the fuck about. Oh, you forgot about how they treated Jordan Jefferson? All he did was get us to a, a fucking title game. And they treated that boy like absolute shit. I don't, uh, the Jordan, I, I, I'm going to say this shit again. There should be a statue on the campus of LSU just to the Jefferson family. Because every fucking time racist at LSU fans spit in their fucking face. And those people kept sending their sons to the school. They should honor them. They should honor all of us. They never will. Because they don't respect us. They don't like us. But unfortunately for us and them, they need us. And that's this fucked up dysfunctional relationship that these racist ass white fans at LSU have with African-American children. And at some point, black parents are just going to have to say, you know what? The emotional damage that these schools are going to do to my child is not fucking worth it. The emotional damage that football is doing to my child, this rejection, the shit from these fans, the shit they saying about him in his newspapers, these fucking Klansmen on this site called Tiger Droppings. At some point, African-American players, parents are going to have to say this brown 
football is not worth the fucking mental functionality of my black child. Fuck this shit and fuck them. Congratulations, Daniels. And to the motherfucking welfare recipient called LSU that received a Heisman for doing absolutely nothing for the next kid. Get off your fucking ass and work.